In this episode of The Great American Cruising, I finally meet the infamous Luigi, owner of an amazing Mustang GT, at the Roman Oldies Cruise Inn in Ruskin, Florida. I'm Scott Hudiman, and I am fascinated with classic cars. That's why I travel from car shows to cruise ins to meet owners and learn about their passion for classic cars and the stories behind these amazing restorations. So join me as I go deep into this car show at the Roman Oldies Cruise Inn in Ruskin, Florida to learn more about this one of a kind Ford Mustang GT. The Ford Mustang is perhaps the most collected, restored, and modified car that I've seen at car shows and cruise-ins, and for good reason. The Mustang is one of the most iconic cars to ever grace the open road. And then, there's this Mustang, Luigi's Mustang. One of a kind for sure, and when you see it, you'll realize that Luigi has clearly taken restoration and modification to an entirely new level. I hooked up with Luigi at the Roman Oldies Cruise Inn to learn more about this amazing Ford Mustang GT. I'm standing here with Luigi beside one of the most unique custom Mustangs that I've ever seen at a car show or a cruise in. And what grabs my attention right out of the gate are these Lamborghini doors that seem to suggest that this car is ready for takeoff. Share with me some of the details about this car. Well, we have a GT350. It's got the 289 original engine. It's got the posi traction rear end and I took out the automatic and put a standard in it. The car looks like it just came off the assembly line in Detroit. Is there much of this car that's still standard? It's factory AC, uh, it's got the factory GT tailpipes in it, it's got the decals all on it, GT, and uh, I'm a Harley Davidson freak, so I nicknamed it Harley, and I named it Harley Davidson Special Edition. It's got the, everything's factory about the car, except for the chuck, I pulled the chuck out and I had uh, quick performance. I sent them my chuck and they turned it into a posi traction rear end. Tell me about the performance of this car from what we have sitting here right now. What is this like on the road? It's like a Ferrari. <laughs> That's how it drives, it drives like a Ferrari. And she's always punching me when I turn corners. But I, I put uh, some uh, uh, aftermarket sway bars in the front, aftermarket sway bars in the back. You know, I might call it Harley, but it drives like a Ferrari. I mean, it's unbelievable all the things that, little things that I've done to the car, you know, over the years. With such a background in car restoration, particularly yep. muscle cars. You Mustangs seem to... only, that's it. Okay, so what's your inspiration? Why this car? It makes me feel like I'm somebody. This one's a rag top, and uh, my brother Paulie was the one that bought the car for me. So it was always special in my heart because I love my brother Polly, you know? So Mustang is in your blood. Oh, it's in my blood. It runs through my veins, man. <laughs> Tell me about the acquisition of this car from when you found it and how you acquired it. Well, you know, I did a lot of searching on the internet and uh, all of a sudden this car came up for sale for $20,000 at Mustang Pete's. And I got to know Mustang Pete really good before I bought the car. And it had a new paint job, it just wasn't what I thought the car needed to be, but I had pictures taken of the, the paint and I had the paint recreated and we redid it. Okay, so let's talk about what you redid, how you restored and modified this car, starting with the exterior. What kind of shape was it in and what kind of work did you have to do? Well, I had to completely take the car apart. I had totally dismembered the car to get it painted right. Tell me about that. From the door jams all the way the, to the trunk. You ain't even looked in the trunk yet. It's beautiful in there. And underneath the car is just as good looking as it is above. I've seen a lot of car exteriors that are works of art, and I have to include your Mustang on that list. Did you do the body work and finish yourself? Well, I actually worked with this guy that owned a place called Tampa Customs in Tampa. His name is Jose, and he's an excellent body man, and he taught me a lot of stuff about body work. I pretty much went with what Jose had to say. I uh, made myself available to him at his body shop. I totally tore the car apart, marked everything up, got everything ready. He says, tear it down, we're ready to paint it. I tore it down, we got it painted. And he says, Louie, you're into Harley Davidson's. I said, Luigi's always into Harley Davidson's. So we, we come up with the theme of the uh, GT350 Harley Davidson Special Edition. 
I mean, it, 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 this is a one-off, one-only car. There'll never be another car that's gonna look like this. This car is awesome. I, I love it. it, it builds me, it's everything. Let's talk about those doors. You you don't often see a Lamborghini style hinge on a on a oh, on no. an American. I had, do, I had to do some research to find them. They cost me about a thousand bucks a piece, and 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 I did it. I did it myself. How difficult How difficult was that to modify this car for a hinge like that? Oh, it was very difficult. I had to tear some of the. Uh, I had to cut some of the inner fender well apart because the hinge lives in the same place as that, that body modification on the inside, and we had to cut it all away and then resupport it and put a piece of I-beam on the inside and welded it so that it would put support back into the fender because the fender lives in the same spot as the hinge, and you can only open the doors so far. That's it. The hood has hood pins. Is that? I put them on the other day myself. So that didn't come with the car originally? No, that did not. I put it on myself. And the, the scoop on the rear, I put that on myself. And the scoop on the front, I put that on myself. The trim and the chrome work on this car is absolutely gorgeous. Are we looking at restored parts or are these new? I, I ordered all the parts from CJ Pony Parts. Yeah, and they shipped them to me the next day. Everything's brand new on the car. Every piece of chrome on that car has been redone. The interior of this Mustang is also in remarkable shape. It looks pretty much authentic and original. What have you done to restore the interior of this car? It's factory pony interior that's in that car. Is that vinyl or leather? No, that's leather. And what kind of uh, upkeep do you have to do with something like that? Check the oil. <laughs> that's it. You know, that car is built so well. I mean, the, the, to any maintenance on that car, I, I haven't had any maintenance that I have to do to the car, then check the oil, check the transmission floor and all that. Are there any other modifications that you can speak to regarding this car? I got original GT350 tailpipes coming out of the body panel. Those look really good. Oh, absolutely. Them are the bagpipes. <laughs> How do they sound? They sound beautiful. I don't even want to hear my radio. Everybody wonders, Luigi, you're into stereos and stuff. Why don't you get a nice stereo in the car? No, because I want to hear my bagpipes. I want to hear the pipes. That's it. I don't want to hear no radio. You've put a substantial effort into restoring this car, and I'm really curious about the numbers. So what did you buy the car for? How much do you think you've invested in the restoration? And what do you think the street value is for this car if you decided to sell it today? That car, it wouldn't leave my possession for less than $100,000. I paid $22,000 for the car. It was worth more than that when I got it, but I knew that there were some things that were hidden secrets behind the paint job that was done to the car. So what do you think you've invested in this car from when you bought it? $35,000. And what did you buy it for? I paid twenty two dollars for it. Okay, and, and you think the value today is priceless? Absolutely. It's priceless. I wouldn't sell it either. <laughs> it's priceless. You've shared with me that this car is an extension of you in so many ways, and I find that to be typical with classic car owners. So, what does this car mean to you? You're asking me to dig in my brain. It, that car represents me as a whole person. If I lost that car, I, I don't know what I'd do. That car has been the car I always wanted. You know, it took me 30 years, again, to go from the first Mustang I had when I was a kid, 18 years old, to the car I have now. And it really didn't dawn on me what that car meant to me until I got hit in the ass end. That's when it, it pulled the trigger on me. I said, there's no way this car's going to the junkyard. It's going to my garage, and I'm going to tear apart everything until I get to good metal. So when you go cruising down Main Street with this beauty, what kind of reaction do you get? I don't know. Everybody knows Luigi, especially when they see me coming down the road with the rag top. The, the people that are watching the show are likely car enthusiasts. They may be restorers, modifiers themselves. What kind of advice would you offer to someone that wants to take on a challenge like this and modify a classic car to a beautiful degree that you've done this one? That's another tough question. You know, you have to dig deep in your heart. What makes you feel like a what makes you feel like a whole person? You know what I mean? Some people have other means of ways of identifying with their self. Me, my soul, loves the first generations of Mustangs. As I said, when I was 18, the first car I ever had was a 66 Mustang. And that's, how, that's how much I knew it meant to my heart 
that that's a part of me that I never want to let go. So if I want to get into the game and I want to invest in a car like what you've done, what's your advice to me for doing that? Come hang out with Luigi for a weekend. <laughs> and what would I learn? <laughs> Well, you'll learn that sometimes a car is an extension of your life. And this car is an extension of me, an inner extension of me. I love this car. I'm never going to let that car go. Any other parting words of wisdom or nuggets of inspiration you can add to this show? Well, never let money be a problem. You know, if you love what you do and you do what you love and you never work a day of life and you, you know, that's how it is. For anyone who goes to car shows and cruise ins in Central Florida, you're likely to see a beautiful bright red Ford Mustang with striking Lamborghini doors. And when you do, go introduce yourself to Luigi. He's one of a kind, he's good people, a passionate owner, highly knowledgeable about cars, and always at the ready with a great story to tell. If you enjoyed this show and don't want to miss the next new episode, Click on the subscribe button in the description below, and I'll send you an email with a link to each new show. This is the easiest and best ways to hear the stories behind these amazing classic cars. You can also check out Luigi's Mustang and more on our YouTube channel and on our Instagram page, where we post the best of the best from car shows and cruise-ins. Just follow the links to these channels on our website at greatamericancruisein.com. And if you have a car that you want to show off, send us an email with pictures and all the details so that we can show it off on our website. See the footer section of our homepage for more information. I want to thank you for spending your time with me, and I look forward to sharing another amazing classic car story on the Great American Cruise Inn.